approximately 20% of deaths globally are tied to sepsis. The chances of dying increase with each passing hour. Antibiotic treatment isn't administered. And now a Canadian-led breakthrough is aiming to save millions around the world. Often referred to as blood poisoning, every passing minute is crucial. It affects uh, old and young alike. A 2020 report estimates that 75,000 cases of sepsis occurs in Canada every year, leading to roughly 18,000 deaths. Critical care doctor Claudio Dos Santos and a team of researchers across Canada believe they found a blood test that can predict a patient's likelihood of developing sepsis by harnessing the power of AI. The team located six genes that appear in high levels when someone goes into septic shock. The test is being put into practice using this device, initially created in part by the Canadian Space Agency. The blood test actually allows us to predict, predict with 88% certainty where, how a patient will deteriorate in the next 24 hours. How vital is it to have that lead time for something like sepsis? Every hour of delay in medical management increases mortality by about 8%. In January, 29-year-old Selena Klinger-Evans began having contractions. She and her husband arrived here at this hospital in London, Ontario. Following a C-section, they welcomed the healthy arrival of a baby boy named Isaiah. Two days later, the young mother died in hospital. By evening, Saturday evening, it was not looking good. And then by Sunday morning, we get the news that she's gone. Klinger Evans' cause of death, septic shock due to group A streptococcus septus. Dr. Dos Santos is hoping her discovery will bring an end to the sudden death of far too many Canadians. This is a first step towards relieving a lot of the suffering uh, of patients and families and uh, uh, caregivers and loved ones that uh, live with the aftermath of sepsis. The next step is for a clinical trial to take place in ERs and ICUs this fall right here in Toronto to see how the device informs the decisions of doctors.